Hello everyone, you join me uh, on a tea break. Uh, as you can see, I've been working on Ellie the 2CV. She is naked again. Poor Ellie. Uh, what was meant to be a simple service has gone a bit hub nut. So uh, uh, I need a fill in video and this will be it. Uh, I'm just having a tea break. I thought I'd better give you a Daihatsu diary. How has this little car got on since the MOT? Excuse me while I drink my tea. Um, the answer is very well. This is the default car on the fleet. If I just need to jump in a car and go somewhere quickly, uh, it tends to be the one I use. Uh, we're going to pay for that because it's starting to look a little crusty underneath. Uh, really do need to clean it up and do some waxing over the summer. Um, but as the classics have been typically staying at the barn out of the worst of the weather, this car is just a joy to drive. It's so simple to drive, so spacious, airy, visibility is excellent, the turning circle is incredible. Uh, it, it, it's a great little car and it makes such a fantastic noise and drinks so little fuel while it does it. Um, getting about 50 mpg which um, is um, good enough for me given how heavy my right foot is. I'm very pleased with that. The smoke issue is still there when it's cold. Um, it will still produce a bit of blue smoke but once it's warm it's absolutely fine. So I, I know I've done footage of clouds of smoke coming out the back of the car that isn't typical, that's me provoking it. In the normal course of driving around, there is no blue smoke. So it's actually um, pretty good. I, I'm still not entirely decided whether those potions actually helped or not at all. Um, I don't think they did any harm, but uh, nor did they stop the smoke issue when cold. So that issue is still there. We are gonna have to do some deeper surgery on the engine, I think, um, if we are to properly solve this. But as the car just continues to run well, I can't see any great rush to do that. We'll just keep using it. Um, and if it gets worse, we'll do something then. Uh, it is obviously the car with Miss Hubbard that's been learning to drive in, but that hasn't happened very much because we've, uh, well, we've been in a lockdown. We can't even go out for um, driving tuition. Uh, that, that is starting to ease now. So it's more, <laughs> we just haven't had time. Uh, the horrors of home education, very nearly at an end, a couple of days to go. And then hopefully Miss Hubnut can help me with filming a bit more going forward uh, that's our hope anyway but uh, obviously family life has to come first so um, that's why the videos have been a little more sporadic of late and why there's been a bit less tinkering it's just been massive pressure all round so Miss Hubbard also meant to be helping with the store and uh, she hasn't even been able to do that when when you're at home trying to educate children and help them with our online lessons you don't get a moment's rest so uh, yeah I've been having to do the merchandise as well it's been it's been hard work but uh, thoroughly enjoy it. We're sending packages all over the world and doing the merchandise always puts a smile on my face. So thank you to all those who continue to support the store. Uh, it's very kind of you. We love it. We love coming up with new items for you to buy. There are quite a few at the moment. Uh, obviously the Triangle of Doom shirts, the Hubnut Tools design, t-shirts, stickers, uh, they're available now. So yeah, it's been good fun. So go and have a check out at the store at hubnut.org. Sales mode shall now end. Uh, instead, we'll talk about money I've been spending because let's face it, the income that comes from YouTube and the channel goes pretty much almost exclusively on the cars. And uh, let's take a look at what I've bought very recently for this car right behind me. I'm going to have to put down my tea, which is starting to go cold. This is going wrong. I might actually insert an edit. There we go. I, I'd hope to do this all in one edit, like a uh, Retro Power. Have you checked out Retro Power on YouTube? If you haven't yet, they're doing amazing work tend to do a weekly update of what they've been doing uh doing a fantastic jaguar mark ii project project utah at the moment they built a ford escort for gordon murray a designer in a mclaren f1 road car uh they do amazing work i uh, visited them before they built a gorgeous jaguar coupe uh, that i featured in classic jaguar lovely bunch of lads go and check out their channel uh moving on to the um some something less exciting i've bought some tires for Chemi de Chirard. She's now running on these Uniroyal tyres. They are Rain Expert free tyres in this tiny 155-65 R13. Dinky little wheels. Uh, they are claimed to be the rain tyre. They also have shark skin technology. I'm not sure I fully understand that, but look, we've got a little shark there, drop of water there to show how good they are in the rain. Nice trunk, chunky pattern that's going to move a lot of water away. Surely that is the tyre for Wales. I've had these before um, on a Rover 416. If you go back to the early days of my channel, 
Um, I had a white Rover 416. I took it to Rockingham when that was still a racetrack and not just a storage yard, yard for cars. What a travesty that is. And uh, yeah, I, I, I put these tires through their paces and I was amazed at how grippy they were in those very extreme um, cases. Uh, they do wear, because it's quite a soft compound, they do wear quite quickly. But um, Miss Hubner, I can't speak for myself, won't be driving too quickly. And uh, I think these will be fine. I'd rather have the grip. And if they wear quick, then that, that's just life sometimes, isn't it? So that's those. Some of you are already screaming at your um, devices that uh, I fitted the good tires to the front. I think they should be on the back. Uh, that, that's possibly true, but um, I'm just going to take that off, actually, I think. So I've just noticed this lens is really, really smudgy. So I'm just going to take it off entirely. Hopefully that's better. So, um, yeah, a, a few of you will be screaming at your devices. I'm just going to put you back on the tripod and sit down again. And uh, it, it's a fair point. Um, for a novice driver, having more grip at the front than the rear is not a good idea. Um, but you won't notice most of the time. Where it's going to catch you out is emergency situations. If you have to swerve, um, if you suddenly find yourself going too quickly on a wet bend and you lift, that's when... Um, less grip at the rear becomes a problem. I don't think we're going to be going anywhere near the limits of the car um, or those hopefully those emergency situations while Miss Hubner is learning to drive. Um, if I was sending her off on her own in the car then yeah I'd perhaps think twice about it. The rear tyres haven't worn as quickly as the fronts but um, perhaps I'll swap them around maybe I'll get new tyres fitted to the back once we're a bit further down the road. For me personally, I want more of the grip where the braking and the steering is primarily done, and that's the front. Um, I perhaps naively think I've got the skill set to avoid upsetting the back of the car. And to be honest, I'm not sure there's that much of a difference in grip anyway. I'd love to do some science on this. Um, there's various videos claiming to be scientific about winter tyres and things like that. But when they're sponsored by tyre manufacturers, sometimes I think they're trying a bit too hard. Uh, there was an episode of Fifth Gear where they tested stability programs and they tried to show how dangerous it was to not have um, a stability package controlling the car. But uh, you could blatantly tell that they were deliberately trying to throw the car into a spin harder with it turned off and they were with it turned on. So, yeah, sometimes shows aren't that scientific. I would love to if, if um, you fancy sponsoring such a video because it would definitely have some cost attached to it. Uh, let me know. I would love to do more about the science of tyres, uh, stopping distances with different tread levels, that sort of thing. I mean, I replaced the tyres because we had an advisory on the MOT. One side was down to two mil, uh, the other side was three mil. That's, that's still legal, but it doesn't mean it's good. So um, I swapped them out and uh, I'm very happy with that. But yeah, I, I accept some of you will be upset that I've put the good tyres on the front. But that's what I tend to do. The GSA sat over here. There's the GSA. That's got a pair of nice new Michelin 145s on the front of it. Um, it's got some Nankangs on the back, which aren't as good. Uh, I don't mind that. Um, although, having got a fawn in one of the um, Nankangs, which doesn't seem to have gone down, uh, it may be that I have to actually uh, change that. I don't know if that fawn had managed to punch the wheel or not. We'll have a look at some point. So maybe I have to put the Michelins on the back, but I do have. It's just like, well, there's loads of tread left on those Nankangs why would I bin the Nankangs now? So uh, get a bit more money's worth out of those. So yeah, my preference is grip at the front, but uh, I fully acknowledge that the um, official approach, uh, because not everyone is an enthusiastic driver, not everyone has the skill set to deal with um, oversteer, um, and, and frankly oversteer on a public road, you never got the room to catch it anyway, you need to avoid it primarily. Uh, I'm waffling. Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing, and uh, I accept the responsibility for me. Once Miss Hubnett's driving the car more, maybe we'll swap the tyres around uh, because she won't have the skill set yet. Um, love to take her on a skid pan one day. That'd be good fun. That's some good future content right there. But there we go. That's where we are with the Daihatsu. It, it's running really well. Um, like I say, it, it's the car that's kind of doing the most mileage at the moment. Uh, using the Primera for the weekly shopping trip because that's where the Daihatsu does fall down. We cannot get a weekly shop in the tiny little boot uh, for a family of four but uh, otherwise they're just nipping around doing the post runs uh, i always put which vehicle we've used um, on, on the dispatch slip so you always know which vehicle your order has traveled in 
Um, congratulations to those who recently ordered because Ellie the 2CV drops a post, some post off on her way in this very morning. So that was very good. But yeah, I, I've finished my tea. I'm going to stop waffling. That's where we are with the Daihatsu. Still going well. Still a lovely little car. Uh, I need to get back on with the 2CV. And you'll see that in a future video. So thank you for watching. See you again. Farewell. Shark skin technology.